Flux is here, it has better prompt understanding and details than Midjourney, it can do real hands, and it's really what SD3 should have been. Let me show you how to get it running now in Comfy. So what you're going to achieve today is get to a point something like this. So this is a comfy workflow for the new Flux. Here's the result of this Viking woman. And we've also loaded something a little differently here. So this is a Laura, which is a Flux realism Laura. So that's a new thing. I'm going to get you a link to that as well. The Flux is just the best model that you can use locally right now. So let's get you set up with that. Now we're going to follow some uh, steps on one of my Patreon guides here. You don't need to be a supporter. Thank you for everyone that is. You can also just follow along in the video. There are going to be links in the description as well. First, we're going to download some models. So there's going to be three things, right? We're going to download some text encoder models. We're going to download the VE model, and then we're going to download the actual Flux model. If you uh, don't have Comfy, check out my previous guide on how to install that. It's also available in this link here. So let's first download the necessary models from Hugging Face. We're opening this first link. You're going to want to download this Clip L Safe Tensors. If you are on a high spec machine, you, you want to download this FP16. And if you're on a low spec machine, you want to download this FP8. I would say FP16 is for you if you have over 32 gigabytes of RAM and a GPU with was say 16 gigabytes or more. If not, you could probably get around with the FP8 model and you can run that from an 8 to 12 gigabyte VRAM GPU. So download them by clicking on the download button here. They go in your comfy UI models clip folder. Just drop them in there. Then you want to download the VAE. That's going to go in the Comfy UI Models VAE folder. You can get that from this link here. And you want the file that's called ae.safetensors or ae.sft. And just click on the download. And again, Comfy UI Models VAE. And then you should have your ae.sft or safe tensors here. Then you want the actual Flux model. And you have two to choose from. You have the Schnell or the dev one. If you have eight to 12 gigabytes of VRAM, I would go with the Schnell. If you have more, I would go with the dev one. So here we have the Schnell and down here we have the dev. So it's the Flux Schnell Safe Tensors, the Flux Dev Safe Tensors. So these are pretty big, 24 gigabytes here. There is an FP8 available from Kijai. So if you're really having issues with your system and the requirements, you can use the 12 gigabyte FP8. You can find it on Kijai's Hugging Face, but I would recommend going, going with the other ones if you can. When you're downloading these, they go into your models and then UNET folder. So not in the regular checkpoints folder. These go in the UNET folder. So here I have Flux Dev, I have Flux Dev FP8, and I also have Flux Schnell. You don't need all of them, but you know, it's fun to test them. Finally, we're also going to download the LoRa, so that's available in this link here. And this is a realism LoRa. Go into Files and Versions, and you have that there. Download that, drop that into your Models LoRa's folder. And there you have it. Then you can go into the workflow or rather the workflow examples. And if you go to this page, you will have some images and you can just take these images and drag and drop them into your comfy UI. So this is the workflow for the dev model. And this is the workflow for the Chanel model. So let's say, for example, that I take this one and save that on my desktop. And if I now open a clean, let me show here, low default. And if I drop that in there, this is what we're going to see. If you're getting red errors now, make sure to go into your manager. Let me get that up over my face into the manager. Update all, make sure you have the latest Comfy UI. Update Comfy UI. Update all will update both your Comfy UI and your custom nodes. Now, this is the base workflow for the dev model. When you load this initially, you might be getting some red errors, and that's because the models here might be differently named or in different folders than the original workflow creator intended. So just go here, click here, select the model, 
go down here, select the VAE, and then you should be able to run. Again, this is the dev model. So this will require a little bit more hardware and will take longer. And as you can see from the finished generation, we are getting the exact same results as uh, from the workflow image that we downloaded. Now this is running at Euler 20 steps. That works fairly well. There are a lot of samples that don't work well for Flux so far. Uh, Uni PC actually worked surprisingly well, but uh, test out the settings, see what works for you. There's a new Flux guidance node. This is similar to CFG. It's not exactly the same thing, but it's similar. So you can play with this value. I didn't find a lot of use for this yet. Dev said that uh, you can get some more very realistic results from a value of two. I found that a value of 3.5, 4.5 was better. And even going higher sometimes uh, can give you better results. Uh, I did not achieve much from the lower values. If you're having issues loading this, make sure that you're actually testing the Schnell. And if you're dropping that in, it's going to be this one here. And as you can see, we're on, we're now also not running Euler, but at four steps instead. So this is going to be a much quicker generation. If you're having memory issues, you can change the weight type to one of the FP8 ones here. Uh, let me show you also how to set up, set up that LoRa loader. So if you have loaded the initial workflow, you can download this from my Patreon. But if you're just using the regular one that looks like this, let me actually drop that in here. There we go. So this is the base workflow from uh, Hugging Face or GitHub. What you do is just create here, load LoRa, and then you can select here, Flux. And what you do is you take from the basic guider here, we're gonna swap that, let that go in there and just let that go in there. I'm going to take from the clip instead of that going from the clip loader into the text prompt, I'm going to get that clip into the LoRa and then that clip into the prompt. And that way you're done and you're going to have the Flux Realism LoRa running. And now you can prompt for wherever you want, like cat in a hat eating a green donut. And here we have our finished image of cat in a hat eating a green donut. And I think it turned out pretty well. We have the cat, it's in a hat, it's eating a green donut. And the prompt understanding is just bananas. Let me show you something cool I saw on Reddit just the other week. So Reddit user striking long posted these images from Flux or actually is uh, one image and it says the crazy adventure of the ninja chicken an excellent adventure awaits and it's a pixar movie and if we dig a little bit you can see here prompt with the help of a chat gpt so, so this is a quite wild prompt so it was made by chat gpt there's a lot of info here so there's a title display the title do the main characters the background yada yada so let's take all this let's just use that let's head back into our comfy ui I'm gonna drop that in. We're actually gonna delete, de disable here the realism LoRa. So I'm just pressing Control B, and well, let's run this for let's do four images and then see how close we can get. I'm sure the one we saw was cherry picked, but you know, let's see. There's a lot of stuff going on in there. So let's see what we got here. This is non cherry picked results. We have four of them. The first is the crazy adventure of the ninja chicken. An excellent adventure awaits. There's some nonsense text down here. Is it Disney and Pixar? I would say, okay-ish. The tile here is good. The rest is eh. The ninja chicken is looking pretty cool. Here we have the second, which actually is turned into Disnar. And the crazy adventure of the ninja chicken. An exiliate adventure awaits. Pretty okay. Pretty okay. The main character is looking good. We have five fingers and four fingers. I don't know about chicken. You tell me. Either way, I don't, I'm, I don't think there should be a different amount of fingers. The side characters didn't really turn out expected. The characters are much better. Hands, not so much, but again, they're chicken. The crazy adventure of the ninja chicken, looking great. An excellent adventure, can, you know, can barely see it, but it's a little small. Pixar logo looking okay. The crazy adventure of the ninja chicken in the fourth one. And I think this one, except that it says an exilarity adventure awaits. I think, you know, this one looks pretty good. I mean, this is probably one of the hardest prompts I've seen so far with all the amount of text, which is so close, so close guys. 
and if you dr run this like 10 times i'm sure you will get you know a great one but then again like text is pretty easy to add on top later so that's how, how you get fux running on your comfy ui machine hope that helps thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one